ها يعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله أشهد أن محمد رسول الله هيا للصلاة هيا للصلاة هيا للفلاح هيا للفلاح الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله الحمد لله الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين نمد الله تعالى ونستغفر ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له نشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبده وحبيبه ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأجواء سبت سبت خلفاء رشد المهدين من بعض وزير مات على التحقيق خصوصا من علامات خلفاء رسول على التحقيق Umar al-Mu'minin, Hazrat Abu Bakr, Umar Usman wa Ali, wa ala Bakr al-Sahbat Tabin, Ridwan Allah Ta'ala alayhi majma'in. Ya ayuha al-Mu'minul Hazirun, Taqo Allah Ta'ala wa tuhi inna Allah ma al-lazina taqo wa al-lazina hum muhsinun. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil al-Anbiya ima mursalin, Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. All praises are due to Allah. Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah who is the first, the last, the manifest, the hidden, the one who has might and power over all things. And all praises are due to Allah who sent his Habib, Sayyidina Muhammad as the mercy to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Sultan of the messengers, the Imam of the prophets, the master of the first and the last, the grandfather of Hassan and Hussein, Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad wasalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the four Khulafa Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Ali Al Murtaza, and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya Yuhal Mu'minun, all believers, welcome to you on this Yamul Juma which is falling on the day of Eid al-Fitr. Alhamdulillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us these two blessings on one day, that we have greeted our Bayram day on the Sultan of the days. Inshallah, in this day we are hoping for the mercy and the pleasure of our Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. O believers, today is a blessed and a very tremendous day. The Holy Prophet is saying, Allah created the garden of paradise on the day of breaking fast. He planted the tree of bliss on the day of breaking fast. He chose the archangel Jibrail as the messenger of revelation on the day of breaking fast. And the sorcerers found forgiveness on the day of breaking fast. And the Holy Prophet is describing the heavenly activities that happen on this day, saying in a hadith that is narrated by Ghaus al Azam, the arch intercessor, Shaykh Abdul Qadir Gilani. When the month of Ramadan is over and the night of breaking the fast has arrived, that night is called the night of prize. 
Then in the early morning of the day of breaking the fast, Allah will send his angels to visit all the towns and cities on the earth below once they have made their descent. They will position themselves at the entrances to all the streets and alleys. There in a voice that can be heard by creature except humans and the jinns. They will make an announcement saying, O community of Muhammad, come forth into the presence of a noble and generous Lord who will grant you gifts in abundance and forgive your terrible sins. Then when the believers have emerged and presented themselves at their places of prayer, Allah will say to his angels, O my angels, they will respond to his call by saying, Labaik, Ya Rabbi, here we are, O my Lord. And he will say to them, what is the reward? What is the recompense of the hired laborer once he has done his job? The angels will reply, our Allah and our master and our Lord, you will pay him his wages in full. So, the, so Allah will say, I now call upon you to bear witness, O my angels. As a reward for their fasting and the night prayers during the month of Ramadan. Then he will say, O my human servants, put your request to me now. For this I swear by my might and I swear by my majesty. You will not ask me this day in this gathering of yours for anything connected with your life hereafter without my granting it to you nor for anything connected with your life in this lower world without my attending to your need. By my might and my majesty, I will surely forgive the false steps you make as long as you are consciously alert in the effort to avoid pulling my anger. By my might and my majesty, I will not put you to shame, nor will I expose you to disgrace amongst those who are faithfully committed to observing the limits now you may depart knowing that you have been forgiven. You have won my approval and I am well pleased with you. The angels will then be very happy as they welcome the good news of all that Allah will bestow upon this community when its members break the fast they have kept through the month of Ramadan. We are hoping to be from this category that is being mentioned in this holy hadith that our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with us after the month of Ramadan. As our Shaykh Saib al-Saib is saying, Alhamdulillah, wa shukur Allah. Those people who kept the whole month of Ramadan, they kept their taraway prayers, they gave their sadaqahs, they gave their zakats, yes. They should celebrate Eid. They should give everything to celebrate. They have two Eids to celebrate. One in this dunya and one in the hereafter. Those who are keeping the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the orders that are coming from Allah are coming with conditions attached. That is the orders of the Holy Prophet If we are keeping the orders of the Holy Prophet, then we are keeping the orders of our Lord Allah. Eid is the day to celebrate. Eid is the day to forgive. Eid is the day to put the differences aside, to turn back to the original road. Eid is the day that the person is separating himself, saving himself from that fire, from the threat and treatment of that fire. And Allah is granting us, saying to us, run to that. And those who are finding, yes, those who are finding space to put it, and they are running for that, they are keeping their Lord priority. And Allah keeps them priority. O oh, believers, inshallah Rahman, this Eid day, we should renew our intention to make our priority to be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His holy prophet and our share. We ran to do so many good actions and to put down our egos during Ramadan. We should continue that work, inshallah. We should not let Shawal enter and run back to the way of our egos and the way of shaitan. And the holy prophet والسلام, is giving us an advice on how to keep the energy and passion from Ramadan, saying, that we should fast the six days in the month of Shawwal. He is saying, whoever completes the fasts of Ramadan then adds to them the fast of six days in the month of Shawwal, it will carry the reward of fasting for the whole year. So inshallah, we make the intention to keep these six fasts 
so that we do not lose the good habits that we have built during the Ramadan. Oh, believers, we are not going to live forever. This Ramadan came and passed. So many people were here last Ramadan and they did not reach to this Ramadan. Perhaps we will not reach to the next Ramadan. We must always keep the remembrance of our death, of our grave in front of us. We have work to complete and we have a limited time. As Imam al-Ghazali, Hujjat al-Islam, is saying, purifying the soul is serious. The hereafter is ahead. This world is behind. Death is near. The journey is far. And the provisions are light. Oh believers, in this day of Eid, let us make a strong intention to prepare for this journey and to submit ourselves to the leader of the caravan. Let us make intention to live with full submission and obedience and muhabbat to our Shaykh and to pray to our Lord to reach to another Ramazan on that road. Inshallah Rahman. Astaghfirullah. 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 Lazim wa lazim. La ilaha illa wa alhaya kaim wa atubu lahi ta'ala 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 La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku wa hamdu shay'in kadir La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku wa hamdu shay'in kadir La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah lahul mulku wa hamdu shay'in kadir La ilaha illa anta subhanak wa tumina zalimin La ilaha illa anta subhanak wa tumina zalimin La ilaha illa anta subhanak wa tumina zalimin Subuhun kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikat wa ruh Subuhun kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikat wa ruh Subuhun kudusun rabbun rabbun malaikat wa ruh Inna dina inna Allah al-Islam Qam salam Allah, <laughs> Allah,